So we're, uh, it's lunchtime right now at the Reading Street Fair. Yep. So we decided to grab some food and taste it and see what we think of it. So the first food we grabbed was some Portland Pie Pizza, the new pizza place here in Reading. And we wanted to like kind of talk to the Portland Pie people, but that place is really busy right now. Yep. So we couldn't, and so we couldn't really do that. So we just got a couple slices, came around back, Kind of chilling in the parking lot right now, but we're just gonna take a bite Absolutely. and see what things we you got. Know, some my first impressions of this pizza. I like the I like how the cheese blends with the crust up, sure. up top. You'll see you don't see any blotches of sauce, mm -hmm. which you often see in you know Papa Gino's pizza. <laughs> it definitely looks well made. So Absolutely, definitely passes the look test. The one doc I will give to them is that it's not cheese pizza and I think to tell if a pizza place is pizza is really good it has to be cheese and I'm a right, big cheese guy right. but I won't hold that against them it was crazy in there and we wanted food so we didn't wait I'm for not the a cheese Packers fan, so. <laughs> so here here it goes let's see yeah. how this goes scale out of 10 it's out of 10 putting put the mics mic down between my doesn't knees. buzz You gotta aerate it. You gotta get it over all 9,000 taste buds. Gotta make sure the aftertaste isn't like. Hmm. I'm impressed. That's a 10. I was gonna give it a 9.5. That's good. That's good pizza. That's good pizza. Well done, Portland Pie. That is good you pizza. You heard it first. Portland Pie has good pizza. You heard it here first. So I guess we're gonna enjoy the rest of our lunch. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see what other food we can find on the streets of Reading. If I don't love you, baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grits and groceries, eggs and poultry, rolls on
grows and poetry She was a man. I know it's hard to remember the people we used to be. It's even harder to picture if you're not here next to me. You say it's too late to make it, but is it too late to try? And in our time that's wasted, all of our bridges burned down. I've wasted my nights, you turned out the lights. Now I'm paralyzed, still stuck in that time when we called it love. Sunsets in paradise. I'm out of pain, trying to go home. All of the change I spent on you. Where are the times, baby? It's all wrong. Where are the plans we made for two? If happy ever afters did exist, I would still be holding you like this. Song I'll be singing. Oh, you turn your back on tomorrow. You forgot yesterday. I gave you my love tomorrow. You just gave it away. You can't expect me to be fine. I don't expect you to care. I know I said it before, but all of our bridges burned down. I've wasted my nights. You turned out the lights. Now I'm paralyzed. In that time we call it love, but even the sun sets in paradise. I'm out of pain, trying to go home. All of my change I spent on you. Where are the times, baby? It's all wrong. Where are the plans we made for two? If happy ever afters did exist. Still be holding you like this, and all these fairy tales are full of it. One more stupid love song, I'll be sick. Now I'm out of pain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, baby, don't do it.
kids are going to go away with some good prizes. And the best thing about it is everybody wins because everyone gets a be uh, piece of pie today. So. Before we get started, we have one special contestant, our returning champion, Will the Thrill. He ate a pie last year in about 45 seconds. So, Will, do you have any parting comments before we start? Uh, I hope I win again, and I'm happy to be back. <laughs> the rules are very simple. You must keep your hands behind your back. You can flip the pie over if you'd like, but there's no hands. If you have your hands, we will disqualify you. When I say go, you eat as fast as you can. First one done is our winner. Ready? Pie eaters, set and go. We have some very good eaters. Our champion is right where we thought he'd be. But we have our first pie flip. They're moving slowly. They're starting to slow down. Crust down here. We're eating off the table. Very close. One more bite. We got a winner. We have a winner. If all contestants can step to the back of the stage. Is the crowd ready? Yeah. We're ready to see you guys make a mess. On your mark, get set, go! Oh, uh, we have some eaters here. We already have a flip on the end wheel. She's the clear leader. Chris Wheeler, keep eating. You're not going to get any more food in your mouth by looking at her. We have some pie in the hair happening. It's the good thing we give you guys bibs. You guys have made a mess. And we're getting close on the end. We're at one spot, and we have a winner on the end. We have a winner. You guys are welcome to finish it, but we have a winner. So close. We're subject to uh, arrest. We have Jimmy Cormier with the police. Just kidding. When I say go, we'll begin. Eaters ready! On your mark! Get set! Go! Sean Whalen has jumped right into the lead with five giant bites of pie. Come on, crowd, cheer them on. Let them know you're watching. It appears that 
Sean Whalen is still in the lead. Mr. Mora is picking up second place. Maybe Katie Wheeler in third. All right, I'm TJ. I'm here with Hannah, Courtney, Olivia, and Caitlin. Caitlin, oh, that's the one. All right, um, so Reading Cheering, what year are each of you in high school, and how long have you been cheering? Uh, I've been cheering since I was seven, and graduating in 2016. I'm a senior, and I've been cheering since I was six. I'm a senior, and I've been cheering probably since I was six. I'm a senior, and I've been cheering since I was six, too. <laughs> All right, so you three are seniors. Talk about the senior leadership on the team and how you sort of guide the younger players. Um, well, we have three captains right now, but I think everyone is pretty much a leader, regardless if they're a captain or not. Um, we've been together since we were really young, so everyone just gets along really well. Yeah, I think everyone gets along really well this year. I think we have a great team, and it's going to be a great season. Yeah, there's a lot of leadership, even other than the captains, and it's a great team, so we're excited. Earlier I saw you guys holding, holding. Uh, was it you, holding you up in the air? What's the longest you've ever held someone? Um, probably contest for like a couple minutes, yeah. probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, about three minutes maybe. Yeah, there's competition in our team between who can hold people up for the longest, so we've held them up for quite a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. And, and for that competition, does the loser just fall down? How does that competition work? Well, I mean, if we fell down, we'd be running laps, so hopefully everyone's coming down safely. Uh, how many falls have you had this year? Um, I don't count. Yeah. Too many to count. Oh, all right. yeah. uh, I'm from Burlington, so is there a rivalry between cheering teams? I know there is for football. Uh, I think there is. Yeah. 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 yeah Obviously, Woburn. Yeah. Woburn's probably our biggest rival since we were little. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Alberto, tell us what you do with Reading Football. Hi, I'm a member of the uh, Reading uh, Friends of Football, and uh, we're sponsoring the tent, hopefully, to uh, give the kids a little bit better uh, year this season. 
Now, I don't know, you said better year. I don't know how much better they could get from last season. Yeah. Speak on that. Well, if you notice, the uh, the, the uh, cheer this year is, is Charlie Michael, which means continue mission. So these kids uh, have put a lot of work in. They, they play really hard. So I think they're going to have a real good season. All right, Alberta, you want to predict? Do you, will, you, will you be the one to predict a Super Bowl run for Reading again? Oh, I don't know about that, but I know the kids will work hard toward one. All right, thanks, Alberto. <laughs> So I'm here with Cindy at the Walked End Alzheimer's booth. Cindy, can you tell me a little bit about what this booth is about? Sure, I'd be happy to. I am on the uh, MIT Lincoln Laboratory walk team. We've had a walk team going for several years now, and we're here today to raise awareness for Alzheimer's and to help get some donations for our team. We have a pretty lofty goal, so we thought we'd come down today and uh, talk to the Reading community about Alzheimer's and how bad a disease it is. I lost my mom to Alzheimer's five years ago. So what is your goal? Our goal is 20,000. We're sitting at about 9,000 right now. When is your next walk? Our walk is September 29th at the Cambridge Side Galleria. Um, we can be contacted online at alz.org. You can find our website information. If you want to join our team or donate to our team, it's the MIT Lincoln Laboratory team. So why is it so important for you guys to be out here spreading the word about Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's is a horrible disease. Uh, at this time, there is no cure. One in ten people are affected by Alzheimer's. So as you look around this crowd today, you can just about know that somebody here has some connection to Alzheimer's in some way. It's a horrible disease. It robs people of their dignity. Um, it just It's just an awful disease to deal with. And as a caretaker, when I lost my mom, it was so hard to see her slip away. Alzheimer's Association is out there to help anybody who's struggling with taking care of someone who has Alzheimer's. Thank you very much. Thank you. TJ Horgan here with the Coolidge Middle School Science Team. Now you guys, it says 2011 state champions. Which one of which which guys uh, were, were on the team in 2011? Uh, I think all of us. You guys were all on the team in 2011. That's cool. All right. Can I get your name? Uh, I'm Alex. I'm Nathaniel. Will. Dustin. I'm Jacob. All right, guys, so what do you like most about being on the science team? Um, all the cool stuff you get to do. Like my friends. Yeah, I would say the opportunity to compete and all the fun stuff we can do in the events. Um, to do what we love but be with our friends. Uh, also similar to Jacob, it's a lot of um, academic competition. It's really fun. So do you guys have a favorite, you know, invention or experiment you've done? I'll start um, with you. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, rotor egg drop, which is you build a device that you like attach an egg to and you throw it off like a 10 meter high building. Ah. All right, I would grab mine. It's in the car, but uh, I have a, I built a liar, and oh. so we got to play that for a competition. That's pretty cool. Uh, bottle rockets. We made this uh, really big rocket out of a soda bottle. You can go get it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I built like a Rube Goldberg machine. So it's like. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. It's like a sim simple task that you do with a lot of smaller, simpler tasks. That's pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite events was called Anatomy, and uh, we studied a couple different body systems and how they work. So I don't know if you guys have thought this far ahead yet, but in terms of college planning, do you guys all want to do something science related? Yeah, I'm planning to go to MIT and be a um, biochemical engineer. High aspirations, good luck. Yeah, definitely the same. Yeah, same. <laughs> uh, I'd like to go to MIT, sounds pretty cool. Uh, yeah, the same. So I'm with the class of MIT 2017. <laughs> All right, Coolidge Middle School Science Team. Thanks a lot, guys.